Hello, this is Rocketman Dan, and today we'll be heading to Jewel. We've upgraded a couple of things since the last video, like the tracking station just here, and the R&D department, just so I can get a few more parts. We haven't been left with much cash, but I've just designed a ship that should get us there and back nice and safely, for less than the budgeted allowance anyway. Okay, let's head on over to the launch pad. Okay, th so this is the monster I've come up with. You'll get to see what's under that phone once we get into orbit. So let's get this orbital, shall we? Just a standard LK out. There we go, I think we can shed that fairing now. Beautiful. Let's get those solar panels out. Let's shine a light on all this. There we go. I think I may have went slightly overboard on the lights, but you can never have too much really. There we go. Let's just fast forward and up to that manoeuvre node now and get over top. Beautiful. Let's just go onto the map screen and make sure everything's okay. Yep, 78 and a peri of 77. Not too bad. Nice and circular. Okay, here's the main vessel. This stage here will get us to Jewel with some left over. This is my nuclear stage here. And this has got a lot of Delta V. Obviously we haven't got the read out there telling us exactly what it is, but I'm estimating somewhere around 10,000 Delta V, roughly speaking. It'll get a little bit more once this little lander gets out of the way once it's done its job as well. So let's plan a manoeuvre to Jewel. I've already fast forwarded the time to when I need to leave, which for me is year 14, day 265. So I'm going to zoom right out using L2 with the cursor open and we're going to set Jewel as target there we go so I suppose you want to be at about 3 o'clock and Jewel wants to be at about 12 o'clock if you look at it like that okay so we're going to plan a manoeuvre on the dark side of curving roughly and this will be about 2000 Delta V a little bit less maybe so let's just add a manoeuvre and just go all the way up to about 2,000 and then we can adjust it as we get closer. So zooming back out again. There we go. And there's the Apo. So let's just move this manoeuvre around see if we can't get an encounter just like that. Yep, just like that. Just moved it around and we've got an encounter. We don't have to be too close. We're going to do a mid-course correction just to bring everything nice and equatorial on dual there so I'm going to roll on over to that maneuver it estimates it being 2 minutes 21 seconds long so start then a minute and 10 seconds beforehand half before half after if you could let all that thrust go in in one giant jolt obviously you do it right on the maneuver node but we can't do that so oh I thought that was us then <laughs> That must be the KSS, yeah, Kerbin Space Station. Okay, let's get a little bit closer, shall we? There we go, coming up on that node now. Let's all get ready. Just aim the camera at the top there. There we go. And there. Even though this is a mainsail engine kicking out what is it, about 1400 kilonewtons, 1500 kilonewtons, it's still a two minute burn. Well, I suppose I've got quite a lot of weight on the top section there, but it's such a long burn to get to Jewel. And that's why I like having this mainsail stage to get out of Kerbin orbit. 
because it can take so long with this nuclear stage. And then you've also got to worry about not hitting the atmosphere. So it's nice to go with this stage to start off with. Oh, that little camera wobble there means we've left Kerbin Sphere of Influence on our predicted path. Just look at it go. Well, that manoeuvre's complete. It might not have been two minutes for you, but it was for me. And, and even now, after all the times I've been to Duel, or any time I'm leaving Kevin Sphere of Influence, I still get those jitters. So let's go onto the map screen and see what's actually happened. Because manoeuvres aren't perfect, not all the time. Let's just have a say. Yep, yeah, still got an encounter with Duel. Let's just click on Duel and focus the view. Let's see what's going to be happening. Are we going to be coming from underneath? That's a satellite I've put around you, a relay satellite, just to give us a little bit of signal once we get there. So we're going to have to do a mid-course correction, bring this right up equatorial to Jewel. I'm going to try and bring it as close to Jewel as possible to let the gravity give us a nice assist. So obviously the more curved you line, the easier it is to get into orbit. You can actually um, get a free entry into Joule by doing a Tylo gravity assist. But let's just do it the old fashioned way to start off with. There's Tylo just there. Okay, I think it's about time to start fast forward. And now remember, always start it off manually before you say warp to here. And I'm just going to warp to somewhere about here. Okay, so let's manually start that off first. There we go, that manoeuvre took quite a while there. Let's uh, add a manoeuvre somewhere just in front of us. Two days, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're just going to cycle through the manoeuvres. We've done this before. I'm just going to give it a bit of normal. You see that already curving round. There we go. I want to get real close to Jewel there. So uh, let's see what happens if I give it a little bit of prograde. Yeah, that brings it in nicely. And with these manoeuvre nodes, it's all just about playing about, seeing what works, and then trying to learn from those lessons. Just going a little bit more normal and a little bit more prograde I'm gonna say. There we are, I think I'm gonna give it a little bit more normal because I want to get into quite a high inclination. There we go, that looks about right. Let's turn on over to that maneuver. And uh, I'm just going to walk to that manoeuvre. It won't really make much difference, but let's try and be precise if we can. Okay, I think I'll start the burn now. It's only a 52 meter per second burn, so I'll just give it a trickle of, uh, of the engine burn there. There we go, that looks about right. What's a peri on there? Oh, that's miles away. I'm actually going to bring that in closer once I get into dual sphere of influence. I'm just wondering if I can uh, point anti-normal at the moment. Maybe bring this uh, this predicted path up more to Bob's, Bob's level. They called it Bob then. Let's just roll on over. There we go, that's more like what I'm looking for. Oh, that even got us closer there. So now what I'm going to do is fast forward to just inside Jules' sphere of influence. It's got quite a large sphere of influence, as you see. So I'm going to start this off, just like always. 
and then warp just to inside Jules' sphere of influence. Finally, that time warp's complete. That took quite a while, let me tell you. Okay, we're in Jules' sphere of influence. Let's see if uh, we can spot it anywhere. And now let's face retrograde and that'll point the ship in the direction of Jules. So we'll see if we can see it anywhere. Oh, just there. Can you see it? It's a tiny speck at this distance. I think we're something still about 50 days out until we actually come to our periapsis. Now I've just got into dual sphere of influence. I'm just going to do my science. There we go. And now I'm just going to focus the camera back on the uh, command pod again. And just above the command pod, just here, I've, in, I've installed one of these remote guidance units. And it's got a handy little feature on there where it can collect all your science for you. So I've set that to command action group 3. And there we go. Everything's stored in that little, uh, that little pod there. I shall actually have to remember to get that before we come uh, going for landing on Kerbin. Okay, let's plan a manoeuvre at our Perry. There we go. To give it a small retrograde burn. And that is about perfect. It's only a 13 second burn. I shall make sure to do some science whilst I'm close to Jewel as well. Let's uh, get a little bit closer, shall we? Whoa, that crept up on us a bit fast. Oh, you can see Lathe just there. And that looks like Val. If we can spot any of the other moons there, look. There's Tylo, just there. I believe it's Tylo anyway. How long till the manoeuvre? 33 minutes, not too long at all. Let's um, warp on a little bit closer, shall we? Now you don't want to get too close to Jules, 200,000 metres, and that's the uh, tip of the atmosphere just there. So I think I'll do a little bit of science again whilst I'm here. There we go. And turn on those lights again, they've turned themselves off. There we go, I didn't put them on for nothing. Let's lock to manoeuvre. Get ready to make this burn. It's only a 13 second burn. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, focus view again. And that um, command pod there. And uh, now we're going to set BOP as our target. There we go, set as target, and that'll give us our inclination. It should be quite high. Yeah, ascending 10.8. So uh, let's plan a maneuver there, shall we? So at our ascending node, we want to burn anti normal. So ascend means to go up anti-normal is down basically to descend there we go zero degrees of inclination it's only an eight second burn as well we might actually do it with just this stage but if not it'll be nice to get rid of that extra weight but then we'll be on the nuclear stage and you thought this had long burns nothing compared to the nuke stage but it is one of my favourite designs. These um, these radial tanks here are being fed directly into the into the central tank without an engine of their own. Try and maximise delta V. Because these um, nuclear engines only give out 60 kilonewtons of uh, thrust, I believe. But they weigh about three tonnes each. So 
you don't really need too many of them and if you don't mind the long burn times with a physics warp happening then no problem really so uh, let's warp on over to that manoeuvre here we are about just make sure to collect all that science from the last time there's Jewel in all its splendour you can still see plenty of the moons there's one just there I'm having a hard time figuring out what it is really maybe Tylo I'm not sure oh and that's definitely Lathe can't wait to do a Lathe mission again and there's Val just there so um, let's uh, fast forward on to that manoeuvre just a little bit there we go start the burn ever so gently these last few meters per second and that should do nicely let's pop into the map screen and see what we've actually got zero degrees of inclination that's great okay that's it for this episode in the next episode I'm actually going to land on Bop. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, maybe leave me a comment. That would be great. If you'd like to watch any more of the playlist, I'll uh, leave an annotation there on the right-hand side. And a, uh, one of my other videos that YouTube has recommended on the left-hand side. Bye-bye.